I'm here today outside this beautiful building that you can see behind me, Tyneside Cinema. It is Newcastle's oldest cinema amongst other things. So come and meet the day and let's have a look inside. When coming through the side alley entrance, you are greeted with the box office to buy your film tickets along with some original design features such as this glass mosaic floor. Just to the left of the entrance, you've got the classic screen, but we will get to that later. The gentleman that you see here beside me is Dixon Scott, who by the way is the great uncle of Ridley and Tony Scott. He founded Tyneside Cinema as a newsreel theatre on 1st of February 1937. With hopes to broaden the public's access to news and current affairs, it was commonly known as the News Theatre. However, with the huge rise in popularity of the television in the 50s, audiences began to dwindle, unfortunately leading to the eventual closure of the cinema in 1968. After one more closure in 1975 in a massive £7 million restoration project, the cinema, 85 years later, is still going strong. Four floors consistent of five different screens, each with their own unique aesthetic. But my personal favourite can be found here, down these stairs, through the doors. Let's take a look. On the second floor, you will find the circle. This is the upper level of the classic cinema with a beautiful balcony view and fitted with sofa seating for your comfort. If you're a big movie history lover, Tyneside Cinema has so much to offer you. Also on the second floor, they have this mini cinema museum filled with loads of interesting objects back from the building's beginnings. This is a really cool section and a great way to pass your time while you're waiting to go and see your film. Each floor is absolutely filled with movie history. The cinema is the perfect destination if you want more of an obscure kind of film. But they also do have the bigger films as well. To your right of the entrance, you have the Tyneside Cinema Bar and Cafe, which is a lovely area to sit and relax and also with a great range of food and drinks to fuel your movie going adventures. They have a good variety of vegetarian and vegan options available also, so everyone has something to enjoy. I treated myself to the vegan hot chocolate and as seen here, I can confidently recommend it. With so much on offer and something for everybody's individual tastes, you'd be crazy not to stop by and say hello. This is just a tiny glimpse inside this amazing building in the history on offer here. If you are in Newcastle, this is an absolute must come and see if you're a movie fan. Even if you're not coming to see a film, it is completely free to have a look around and look at the history that is on offer. So make sure you do come and stop by Tyneside Cinema if you're around Newcastle in the area. 